So character encoding, it's complicated and I'm gonna do my best to give you a very general and uh, brief overview of the process. It might be wrong to some extent, but when covering such a deep and complex topic, uh, it's likely you're gonna get something wrong anyway. So I'm just gonna do the best I can. That being said, character encoding. What happens from keyboard to screen? So my understanding so far is that when I hit a key, there, my keyboard is going to close a circuit, essentially. There's a key, and my keyboard is essentially a map, okay? When I hit a key, it actually uh, completes a circuit which allows electricity to run through. And somehow, the, there's a keyboard matrix or a keyboard map, I think it's called, and that, based on the electricity, where it came from, it is sent to typically a chip, some sort of chip on my, in my keyboard that can, can identify the kind of like send a, a code point, I want to say, a, some sort of a, a number, a number that can be then go into my motherboard, okay? It can be sent to my motherboard. And what happens is, from what I understand, is once that is received by my computer, generally it's going to go into your BIOS. Your BIOS is going to have a, uh, what's typically known as a plug and play adapter. And plug and play meaning like you can plug in a camera, you can plug in a keyboard, you can plug in a mouse, uh, you can plug in many different uh, peripherals, right? And your computer needs to be able to differentiate. So your keyboard can differentiate between a keyboard and a mouse, and it knows when you hit a key, it gets sent the signal, hey, what is this? Decipher this, figure it out. And the BIOS says, this is a keyboard, great. So it's going to send that information that it's a keyboard and it must be doing this type of action. It's going to attempt, it's going to send that information into your operating system. And your operating system, as far, again, as far as I understand, is going to say something like, is my main window expecting any any information any a key press or is it looking for is it looking for content a key content and if it's not it's going to look for a uh, a window or a piece of running a process a running process that might be able to take make use of this uh, this key press and let's say there is right so now what's going to happen is I've pressed that key and it sent some information and that information was it's, the, it's a number which is associated with um, that position on the keyboard, okay? So let's say that position is, uh, I forgot the exact positions, but let's just say it's 20. And I think that on it's universal that all keyboards map the number 20 to the space bar. So it's now received the number 20 and it's going to say, hey, operating system, how do you want to represent this number of 20 natively, like locally, okay? And now this is where we get into character encoding because I've sent this decimal number, right? It, is, it represents kind of like this a character. And I am, my computer is going to say, okay, well, our native encoding, let's say, is ASCII, okay? Now, ASCII is, just, I'm not gonna get too deep into encoding, so I'll do another video. But basically it's going to say, okay, translate this into a sequence of a, a binary string, a sequence of one and zeros that represent this number, right? So now if I, if I, I've kind of, uh, I've kind of messed this up a little bit. I'm going to keep going though. So I send that, I send that data through my computer into this program. The program I think is going to, it has this, this character. And then when I hit save is when the encoding happens. If I save that document to my hard drive, that information is now saved in the encoding of either the operating system or the software itself, the way that the software wanted to save. Because uh, I should say that software could have independent encoding types um, that are separate from the encoding type of the operating system. So this is a pretty complicated process. Uh, and clearly I didn't do a great job of explaining it, but um, I'll probably make some more videos about this later on and I will be, I am working on and should have very, very quickly done uh, an app that shows you the encoding, the binary of various characters uh, 
it, it shows you the binary of an encoded character from all different types of encodings. So it'll help you understand um, how your character is stored in your computer's hard drive. So thank you.